In this video, we will be discussing combining like terms. Before we can combine like terms, it's important that we understand exactly what like terms are. I provided you with some examples of terms that are like terms and terms that are not like terms. Let's look at the like terms and see what they have in common. The first group, if you notice, both have variables of x with an exponent of 2. The next group have the variable x with exponents of 5. This last group has two variables, but the x's both have an exponent of 2 and the y's both have exponents of 1. Now let's look at the terms that are not like terms. This first group, the y and the z, are not the same variable, so they're not like terms. These have the same variable, but the exponents are different, so they are not like terms. And this one, both have p's and n, but the p's exponent is different, and so is the n's exponent, so therefore they are not like terms. So looking at the characteristics, we can see that like terms are terms whose variables and their exponents, such as the 5 in x to the 5th, are the same. Does that make sense? Great. Let's look at how we can now combine like terms. Combining like terms is a way to clean up an algebraic expression by adding and subtracting terms with the same variable and exponent. For example, 4x plus 3x can be simplified to 7x. How? Well, let's look at it by expanding it out. 4x is just x added to itself four times. And 3x is just add x added to itself three times. If I add the two groups together and count up my x's, all together I will have 7x. So 4x plus 3x is 7x. A quick way to do this would be to look at the coefficients. Those are the numbers in front of our variable. For 4x, the coefficient is 4 and 3x has a coefficient of 3. If I add the coefficients, 4 plus 3 is 7, so therefore 4x plus 3x is 7x. When we want to combine like terms, we look for terms that have the same variable with the same exponent and we add their coefficients. Let's look at a few more complicated examples. In the first one, we're going to look by trying to find out all of our x squared terms. 4x squared and negative 2x squared. Adding their coefficients, 4 plus negative 2 gives me a positive 2x squared. Now I'll look for my x terms. My positive 3x can be combined with positive 5x and this negative 6x. 3 plus 5 is 8, minus 6 is 2. So I'm going to add 2x to my answer. Finally, combining my numbers, which are also like terms, negative 9 and positive 14 can be added together to give you positive 5. Putting the three parts to answer, the question is 2x squared plus 2x plus 5. In the second example, we have lots of x's and y's, but again, we're just going to look for the terms that have the same variable with the same exponent. So if we start with negative 7x squared y, we want to find any other term that has x squared y. Negative 9x squared y. If we add negative 7 and negative 9, we'll get negative 16 x squared y. Next, I'll combine my x y squared terms. Negative 5 x y squared can be combined with negative 2 x y squared. Negative 5 and negative 2 is negative 7, so I'm going to put minus 7 x y squared. I only have one x y term. So I'm just going to add that to my answer next, plus 5xy. And finally, I'll combine my numbers together. Negative 8 and positive 14 add to give me 6. So I'll put plus 6 on my answer. So combining like terms, we're going to add the coefficients of the variables that have the same exponent. Are you ready to try a few on your own? Great. Go ahead and pause the video to work out these four problems. When you have finished, go ahead and resume the video so you can check your answers. You decided to come back? Great. Here are the solutions. I color-coded the like terms and their combined answers down at the bottom so that you can see what your answer should be. How did you do? Great.